Abigail. I've lived in Colorado for the past six years and still this state continues to amaze me. There are so many things to do in Colorado and in this video I'm going to overview 11 of my favorite activities. Be sure to watch until the end as I save the best activity for last. Outdoor enthusiasts, trust me, this is one you do not want to miss. After the video, be sure to click our link in the description for the full blog post which overviews dozens of more things to do in Colorado. Our free comprehensive guides on travelloving.com are sure to make your trip planning easy. Let's dive in. First on our list of things to do in Colorado, take a hike in Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park is the nation's second most visited national park for good reason, as the landscape here is absolutely breathtaking. Easy, relatively flat trails include Coyote Valley, Sprague Lake, and Alberta Falls. These are all great spots for the entire family. Moderate trails include Gem Lake and Emerald Lake, which is by far the most popular hike in the park. I recommend extending your Emerald Lake hike to Lake Cuyaha in order to avoid some of those crowds. Difficult trails include Chasm Lake and Sky Pond, and if you are a hiking expert, consider taking on the challenge of Long's Peak. Long's Peak is one of the most difficult 14ers in Colorado, which are mountains that exceed 14,000 feet in elevation. One incredible 14er views without breaking a sweat? Take a drive up the Mount Evans Scenic Byway, the highest paved road in North America. This 28 mile route takes about two hours round trip to complete and climbs more than 7,000 feet in elevation. Consider taking breaks at Echo Lake Park and Mount Goliath Natural Area, where you might even spot some Colorado wildlife like pikas, marmots, and bighorn sheep. At the summit, views of the Front Range are sure to amaze. Exploring Telluride is next on our list. Regardless of season, there is so much to see and do in this Colorado mountain town. In the winter, enjoy skiing and riding at Telluride Ski Resort. But even if you don't ski, take a free ride up the scenic gondola which overlooks Telluride and takes you to Mountain Village. In the summer, you can rent a 4x4 Jeep in Mountain Village and then bump along backcountry dirt roads to Bridal Veil Falls, the tallest waterfall in Colorado. I've been wanting to canyoneer in this area for quite some time and fellow climbers, check out the Telluride Via Ferrata too. For more information about Telluride and other favorite destinations, be sure to watch our Best Colorado Mountain Towns video next. A couple hours south of Telluride lies Durango and its most popular attraction, the Durango Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. This national historic landmark has been in operation since 1882. The train offers various tours, but the most popular route is seven hours round trip. You'll travel past beautiful remote scenery, much of which is only accessible by train. Then you'll stop in the town of Silverton for a couple hours before making your way back to Durango. Hands down, this is one of the best, if not the best train tour in Colorado. If you find this guide to be interesting so far, please tap the thumbs up button. Your support really means a lot to us. Plus, that click will allow you to see similar videos to make your Colorado trip planning even easier. For more scenic views, take a sunrise balloon tour in Colorado Springs. Your Rainbow Riders Guide will allow you to be a part of the entire experience, allowing you to help fill the massive balloon right before takeoff. In the air, you'll enjoy panoramic views of Garden of the Gods, Pikes Peak, and Colorado Springs. Then back on the ground, you'll end your spectacular morning with breakfast and a champagne toast. Next up, whitewater rafting on the Arkansas River. There are several places to go rafting in Colorado, but few are as stunning as Royal Gorge. You can find nearby outfitters in Cannon City, which offer half day and full day tours. But note that with class three to five rapids, these exciting challenging tours require a minimum age of 14 years. If you do prefer something more family friendly, check out the river section near Salida. Here you'll find the Arkansas Headwaters Recreation Area, which is much more mild, but still incredibly beautiful. Just north of Salida lies Buena Vista, home to Mount Princeton Hot Springs. Named after another Colorado 14er, these natural hot springs are surrounded by mountain views. You'll find multiple soaking pools and creekside hot springs, which are my favorite place to soak. There's even a water slide for children, along with fitness classes and spa treatments. You can book a day pass or even consider spending the night. There's a link to the resort in the description. If you haven't picked up on it yet, Colorado is the place to be for outdoor recreation. Even our most famed concert venue, Red Rocks Amphitheater, offers incredible scenery and fresh mountain air. Even if your favorite act isn't performing when you visit, you're sure to have a great time. In fact, I actually encourage you to embrace Colorado culture and maybe see a show you wouldn't normally attend. Favorite acts among locals include Widespread Panic, Zed's Dead, Method Man and Red Man, and the annual Reggae on the Rock series. If you're enjoying this video, you'll love TravelLumming.com. Our travel guides feature destinations from all over the world and are written by knowledgeable locals. They share their honest opinions on things to do, where to stay, and so much more. I'm almost to the end of my list, but keep watching because in just a moment, I'm gonna tell you about a truly unique Colorado experience. 
Learn something new on your trip to Colorado with a visit to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Special exhibits rotate, but permanent exhibits include Expedition Health, Egyptian Mummies, and a couple of my personal favorites, Prehistoric Journeys, and Gems and Minerals. Fossils and rare minerals are actually fairly commonly found here in Colorado. In fact, my husband was working on a construction site near Denver a couple years ago when Triceratops bones were found. Denver Museum of Nature and Science led that excavation, and they feature many locally found fossils in their exhibit. In their Gems and Mineral Hall, you can look at other locally found finds, including a six-foot wall of crystals and a 13-pound nugget of gold. Interestingly, that famous gold nugget came from our next destination, Breckenridge. In this historic town, you can actually tour, retire mine, and learn how to pan for gold. However, Breck's most famous attraction is its ski resort, offering world-class skiing and riding. Outside of ski season, activities like horseback riding, fishing, and mountain biking can also be enjoyed. Be sure to check out downtown Brackenridge, where you'll find Victorian architecture, lovely boutiques, and incredible craft beer. Get an Avalanche Ale from Breckenridge Brewery and make a stop at Breckenridge Distillery too. Lastly, one of the most unique experiences in Colorado, sandboarding. Before arriving to Great Sand Dunes National Park, rent your board at the Oasis Store, which is located four miles outside of the Visitor Center. As some of the tallest dunes in North America, hiking up is not easy, but the ride back to the base is an absolute blast. Not so sure about your balancing abilities? Know that you can also rent a sand sled, which is just as fun. Remember to click the link in the description to read our full blog post where you'll discover even more fun things to do in Colorado. For more travel guides written by knowledgeable locals, visit travellemming.com. Thanks for watching.